All right, I did a video on this a couple, uh, I don't know, months ago, last uh, rainy season. Well, I'm getting a good dose of rain today. It's been raining all night. And, uh, well, it's time to see what uh, improvements I've made and the effect it's uh, taken. Basically, what I'm looking for is just, well, it's free rain, right? Ideally, the rain would be a lot more torrential downpour, but it's still continuous where it has the same effect. A little blowing rain will help in this process also, because blowing rain will get in places where just a steady rainfall won't uh, show effects. But all I'm looking for is spots where water is building up, water is not supposed to be building up, water is flowing where it shouldn't be flowing, and I'm just doing an inspection around around my property here, around a house, because, I mean, if you think about it, water damage can be costly. Uh, we'll come back to this puddle right here. In fact, we'll just address it right here out of the rain. Uh, this is the artificial turf. It's actually a little uh, gulf in green if you've never seen it. I've just capped the holes just so no one twists their ankles. There's like two down there. There's one right there, one right there. So it's a four hole putting green. It was here when I got here. Um, I don't really golf. You have golf and sticks and balls, but the kids tend to play with that stuff and lose it more than anything else. So I capped these off just so I can take the flags out. But nonetheless, water is puddling here. You're not going to get rid of this stuff. The, the material under this uh, surface is really fine. And so it doesn't really necessarily have good drainage. And the soil itself beneath it is clay. So this stuff happens. Uh, before it was puddling up here really bad because this downspout just went to the turf. And so I installed a uh, drainage system. I mean, you can hear the water. If you can imagine all that water making its way down here would create a huge puddle. So we'll come back to that. But I am literally, well, I'm watching TV also. The kids are up and that's all they do. But I am looking at the, the eve of the house. I'm looking at pretty much everything on the house, looking for um, spots. Now, I acknowledge I need to do a better job. Well, I need to clean the gutters, but I realized that I need to get that little portion. I never got it this time around. So I need to get it cleaned out because all that bird crap, the pigeon crap that was upstairs, it's good fertilizer. And so that's, that is flourishing right there. So I got to clean it. Um, obviously the water is not overflowing, but nonetheless, it needs to be addressed. This side I did get clean, um, but I had failed to do that little portion right there. I installed a solar uh, panel barrier, so we'll see in the summer and springtime how it looks as far as the rainfall and how much it cleaned it off. I mean, I did my best, but shy of like removing the solar panels, um, I was doing my best. So I'm just checking for a water buildup. So we got this spot right here. Um, when I was doing that excavating, installing that pipe, drain pipe, I came here and removed all the old sprinkler heads that were in the backyard or the sprinkler controllers that were in the backyard and so I installed this um, little stand pipe and I, I knew there was a, like a low spot here but if you have a house with a uh, what do you call it a crawl space this could be bad this could be filling up your crawl space and you definitely don't want water in your crawl space but nonetheless, you still don't want water on your foundation because it could cause cracking and leaking and cause sinkage and all that stuff. So uh, take a picture of it and I'm gonna fix this. I'm gonna get this rectified so water is not sitting here. Luckily for me, there's this drain right here. So, and it drains to the street so I can just tap into it a uh, little, you know, get the water flowing in this direction. Then there's water next to my shed right here. Uh, not a big deal. It's a shed, but nonetheless, I'm gonna redo this entire area get it like um, Get it forming like it should and I'll probably end up coming back and reviewing this video um, The rain has died off a little bit, but I'm trying to take a look And then yeah, so all that stuff is gonna get rectified just have to create like a uh, a Valley right here away from the house away from the shed that we're going around here. You can see there's some water buildup right here. Um, 
I can't remember. I thought there was like a drain somewhere around here, but obviously there's there's water from the shed on both sides of the shed is coming down. So it's gonna run from that side here and pull up. Um, and then yeah, I've already run around the front. There's no pulling around here. So at least none that I can see. It could be under the, under the thing there, but yeah, nothing. And then obviously I'm just inspecting as much as I can see. And I don't really see a whole lot. I. I did clean the gutters somewhat. So, like I said, my primary thing last summer was trying to get that uh, barrier installed for those pigeons and trying to clean as much as that bird pigeon poop as much as possible. So, in the spring when it's dry, we'll go up on the roof and we'll inspect that again and see what we can do. And then we'll just do one more cleaning of the gutters in the summer. And then, you know, use our pressure washer with a hot water pressure washer with a jet pump to uh, blast out these downspouts. Again, home maintenance, that's gonna cost me nothing but time to do. So this stuff is not gonna, you're not gonna get rid of this little settle in here with this artificial turf. But that will, as soon as the rain stops, that stuff will like drain through and it will be good to go. Like I said, I installed this and I mean, like I said, you can hear the amount of water and it just runs right here all the way around goes behind our behind the perimeter right here along the concrete and I installed this this drain right there you can see the water that's flowing in there and I installed it directly in line with this just for just for aesthetics as you can see I'm wearing flip-flops because it's raining I don't mind getting my feet wet but yeah that stuff is working nicely the water does, looks like we got a little, a little overflow right here. Um, so that I'll have to rectify. I'm not sure why it's doing that. We'll just have to address that because it's kind of defeating a purpose. I don't think it's backing up. I just think it's not flowing in there not be fully inserted so we'll come back and we'll address this and that's what you want to see you know well you don't want to see that but you want to be able to identify stuff like that because you want all that water in there i'm pretty sure it's not backing out though i'm confident about that portion so we'll i'll pull it off and i'll see if i don't have this thing inserted deep enough in there that's it's kind of odd but I probably end up doing this after that video because it's a small fix. But right here, the concrete, it has a lot of water, but the concrete has a dip right here. So unless I use some like self-leveling thing to do that, it's just gonna be there. The downside that the downside is that it sits under my grill, but I usually come around with my blower and just blow the water off. Just so it's not sitting there on the legs of the grill, rusting it. That's my biggest concern. Huh. Look at this. That's interesting. It's like the tree. The tree is like foaming soap. Never seen that before. Interesting. Yeah, never seen that before. So yeah, just going around looking. The drain runs all along right here, along the concrete and the edge of the turf. Comes right here. She's flowing. This new one is not backing up. It's not overflowing. So hence the reason why I had to cut the concrete. Tap right here. Again, this is just a low spot. Yeah. My shed here, you know, it's working. Let me just take a look on the backside. Just gotta clean out some leaves back there. 
but the neighbor cut a tree down so that should be the last time i'll have to do that so looks like it's working perfectly back here no water is building up yeah no water is building up right here all the little runoff right here runs under there uh, which i have a drain pipe down there so if there's any heavy build up it should run into it and then yeah the last of it is really coming over here and looking so i need to build a walkway right here and uh, obviously I'm gonna have to keep the valley just all the way out to the grass. And so this is just a good inspection, seeing what's going on. So I'll, yeah, come back and watch that video. And like I said, the, the scudder right here, I could tell it was overflowing. But all in all, it looks good. The only thing I gotta do now is uh, go up to my my attic and look and see if there's any wet spots since we had this install a complete AC system including the the heater unit in the attic space they had to remove the portion from the roof and it was leaking the first time and they came out and fixed it I just haven't inspected it since then because we haven't had any good rainfall so yeah looks like all in all I got like I got a spot at the front that I got to fix with a new walkway, but that's the new walkway. The drainage pipe right at the corner right there where that little stand pipe is. And we got to get this little situation rectified. So all that water is going down in there. Other than that, yeah, time to get up in the attic using my little giant. Um, but yeah, this is cheap homeowners. Uh, insurance policy get after it yourself mate note you know put on that rain jacket go outside use an umbrella or something take a look at your house seeing if there's water you know um seeing if your gutter is backing up and uh shedding water you know overflowing because the gutters might need cleaning it might have leaves or it might have other kind of debris in there and that's just rotten in your uh your eaves and retaining water where it shouldn't. Again, I've never seen a tree um, form that stuff, but. Yeah, so far I'm happy. Um, we'll uh, end up doing another clean in and then eventually get in the house painted and all that stuff. But so far, so good. Water is not pouring down and overflowing. Usually this entire portion right here is like just water is just flowing down. So as may always say, like on a hating.